Hey students! Welcome to Scadia.com. Let's talk about cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is a hereditary disease affecting lungs and the digestive system. The body produces thick sticky mucus clogging the lungs and obstructing the pancreas. This condition has an autosomal recessive pattern of inheritance meaning it requires two diseased alleles for the individual to be a patient of cystic fibrosis. Let's look at its mechanism. In such patients, the mucociliary system stops working. This results in the buildup of thick mucus in which microbes are entrapped posing a difficulty in microbial clearance. Cilia cannot clear up the microbes. Hence, microbial level raises. This then leads to the build of more mucus in the airway. Now, let us have a look at the airway cells. The airway cells contain an ion channel called cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator CFTR. Normally, this is responsible for the movement of chloride ions out of the cells into the mucus. However, in case of mutated CFTR, the chloride ions are unable to move outside the cell hence the concentration of chloride ions inside the cell increases. This mutated CFTR is also responsible for the increased activity of other ion channel called epithelial sodium channel ENAC. This causes the entry of sodium ions into the cell. All these processes result in a high concentration of ions inside than the outside of the cell. This then causes movement of water inside the cell via osmosis causing a thickened mucus on the outside clogging a range of microbes. This CFTR gene is also found in digestive ducts where stomach and small intestine connect allowing bile and enzymes from pancreas to enter small intestine to digest food. Defective CFTR prevents release of these substances causing malnutrition, a symptom of cystic fibrosis. This CFTR is also found in sweat glands where they play a reverse role. Here, they cause the movement of chloride ions inside the cell. However, in case of mutated CFTR the entry of chloride ion into the cell is blocked causing increased ions in sweat and hence, salty sweat. This is also another very important symptom of cystic fibrosis. To treat the symptoms and provide a relief, one can use antibiotics, mucolytics and bronchodilators as well. This would help in slowing the progression of disease. If your books are giving you a hard time, join us on scadia.com.